Egyptian Museum and I really want to give you guys a quick tour of this fabric at the moment. I think some of the information might be online, but I'm not sure how well into detail it is. But it's the fifth planetarium built in the U.S. In the U.S.? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, and it's and what about the seats? The, well, when you go in there, it's pretty old school in the sense that they didn't they don't have them curved up like current plans. Uh -huh. They're completely flat. Oh. So when you look up, you really do have to like kind of tilt your head all the way back. To oh, the okay. Um, okay, cool. This one's about Saturn and the um, being a symbol of time, and also leading to story where Saturn devoured its children so that it wouldn't be in more control than the Saturn, which is also like the metal lead. Oh, nice. Any metal beyond lead in the periodic table is gradually turned back into lead. Ooh, nice. By radioactive decay. And this one's about the black crow, this symbolizing is... the, the alchemy. This, was, this is in the, in the Old Testament. Okay, turn it. <laughs> this is in the Old Testament, and it's about the uh, the prophet Elijah. Distillation. Distillation is a boring solution. I'm considering its vapors to increase purify. And concentration, for example, pure alcohol spirit of wine is obtained by distilling a solution of fermented grapes. So this instrument it generates what is this word? Fibonacci? Pythagorean. Pythagorean notes that the human voice and modern musical instruments cannot duplicate when seen on a. What is this word? Oscillation? I can't pronounce that word. Oscilloscope. <laughs> so each note is perfect circle instead of the liner swath tooth pattern of our musical scale. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> So this is an oper operations of alchemy and the music of the spheres. So it's the octave of creation. Eight notes. Eight notes? Eight notes, guys. 
das Wort. steal milk from babies? No. <laughs> You're supposed to say no 42 times as 42 questions are asked. Oh wow. This is the story that's on the wall. Oh nice. The next wall shows a tomb owner facing these gods and goddesses associated with judgment. The owner's dog originally painted on the tomb wall next to him but half had peeled up by the time it Two minutes recorded. This is an interesting dance. That was yeah. What do you think it depicts? These are words. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, they're high perfects? Yeah. Oh, it's missing. Ancient scriptures. Super. These are images of the goddess nut. The goddess of the Milky Way. The Egyptians believed the stars to be her duress. She was said to give birth to the sun each day and the moon each night. It was also believed she protected the dead body in the tomb. Mm. She protected Geb, the earth, as the sky. Super. Ooh, it's down here, you can Oh, there's supposed to be a tomb, right? Someone stretching. The goddess. Mm -hmm. Newt. Newt. The goddess. Newt. The goddess of the sky. The goddess of the sky. Or the space. Or yeah. space.
Hello, I'm Robert Redford. So what do you think of this garden? It's too dry, right? Yeah. <laughs> too dry. But stuff is growing. Yeah, some stuff. For the alchemy lab. Oh, it's for the alchemy lab? It looks similar. Oh, it looks similar. Does it have a scent? Uh, I think that the one over there did, but I think it's cilantro. I don't know. It's the garden piece or plant. This is cute. <gasps> Greg, yeah, take a picture. Trying to adjust humidity and temperature. Oh, okay. I have another question. These mummies, all these artifacts are the nat the authentic ones or Yes. Yeah, so all our artifacts that we, well, not all of them, there's one exception, but most of the artifacts inside the glass display cases are mm -hmm. real. Are real? Yes, anything that you see with the cream colored tag are real. The only replicas that we have are our models and the figures that we have outside of the glass display cases. Those are all models. Yes, um, they would usually have green tags on them. So like the Tut coffin, obviously we don't have the real Tut, he's back home in Cairo. But, um, Which one's the tuck? King? The coffin, golden coffin. Oh, that one. Yes. Obviously, the real one's going to be in Egypt. Can't grab them. But um, the two statues that we have upstairs in Gallery C, Religion and Kingship, uh -huh. there's one on Cleopatra, and there's another one of the goddess Sekhmet. Those are the only two authentic items that we have outside the glass display cases. Authentic? Yes. Oh, wow. And this is because they're made out of such a hard stone that even with lighting, they don't go through as much damage. But... For a lot of these that are made out of like calcite, limestone, or organic materials like wood, we have to keep them inside because if they get exposed to anything, that's when decomposition starts. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. No problem. Now that doesn't get better when we go inside, so if everybody can watch your step, it would probably be a good idea. Now, if you'll follow me, we will enter the Ombre chamber. So this is a Greco-Roman period Alexander the Great of Macedonia ended Persia rule by Egypt. After his death, Egyptians fell under the control of a powerful Macedonian family called the Petolian. I really don't know how to pronounce that one.
So this is an early 80s dynasty coffin from an Egyptian mummy, the Valley of the Kings. That's pretty cool. And let's look at this one. This is inside of a coffin of a mummy. This is inside of a coffin of a mummy. So this is a mummy of an upper class Egyptian male. So this is what you guys are looking at. That's pretty cool. That's very good. So in 2005 this mummy... No, the dark material on the first... Start so, oh, the, the dark material on the... Gilded face man is not dirt or resin. Is the perfume that her family poured over her lost child at the funeral. Read the next sentence. Tests reveal that some of the components were frankincense, mirth, and moringa oil. That those are little oils my mom used when to burn to do some like I use it for my toothbrush. Oh yeah. Toothpaste. Mirror. Mirror. This is pretty cool, guys. Creating a digital that's mummy. The inside of this. Oh yeah, and that's the inside of this. Isn't that crazy? And they found that the pelvis was asymmetrical. What does that mean? The hips, and they found out she was wrapped too tightly when she was mummified. So that they wrapped her too tight and it caused it to look like she had deformity. Oh. They had rich parents, so that um, there weren't, it wasn't too common for children to be given an afterlife like this. Oh, wow. So this is the original? I'm not sure. Roman period, so 2,000 years ago. That's crazy. And the Romans never mummified anybody, only Egyptians. Only Egyptians. Hey guys, so I'm about to exit the museum, which I did already, and I had a really great time.